Hello viewers, welcome to Big Man Business YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the top import and export commodities of Angola. Angola is Sub-Sahara Africa's third largest economy. The country has made substantial economic progress since the end of the war in 2002. Per capita income has grown multiple folds since 2003 to reach an all-time high of $5,400 in 2014. The country's economy is heavily dependent on oil and gas as it constitutes about 50% of the country's GDP and about 90% of the country's export. The country is also rich in diamond, cotton, timber, fish products, etc. which continue to contribute to rising non-oil exports. Major imports include machinery and electrical equipment, vehicles and spare parts, medicines, food, textiles, military goods. If you're new to the Big Man Business YouTube channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive updates on new business expert videos. For more international business news and updates, please visit www.bigmanbusiness.com. Angola's Top 10 Exports A country sharing Africa's southwestern coastline with the Atlantic Ocean, the Republic of Angola shipped an estimated $22.6 billion worth of goods around the globe in 2020. That dollar amount reflects a minus 19.3% decline since 2016 and a minus 35% drop from 2019 to 2020. Angola's biggest three export products which are crude oil, petroleum gases, unset diamonds are worth 97.7% of the overall value of Angolan exports during 2020. Angola's Top Trading Partners the latest available country-specific data from 2019 shows that 92.1% of products exported from Angola were bought by importers namely, China responsible for 61.3% of the global total, India responsible for 9.9%, Spain responsible for 3.4%, United Arab Emirates accounts for 3.2%, Portugal accounts for 3.2%, United States responsible for 2.7%, Italy responsible for 2.1%, Thailand responsible for 1.7%, France responsible for 1.6%, South Africa responsible for 1.0%, Uruguay responsible for 1.0% and Singapore responsible for 0.9%. From a continental perspective, 79.8% of Angola's exports by value were delivered to Asian countries while 13.1% were sold to importers in Europe. Smaller percentages went to North America which is valued at 2.8%, Latin America excluding Mexico but including the Caribbean got 2.3%, Africa got 1.7%, and Oceania mostly Australia got 0.1%. Given Angola's population of 31 million people, its total $22.6 billion exported goods translate to roughly $750 for every resident in the Southwest African country. Angola's Top 10 Exports The following export product groups represent the highest dollar value in Angolan global shipments during 2019. Also shown is the percentage share each export category represents in terms of overall exports from Angola. Mineral fuels including oil, accounts for $22 billion which is 97.2% of total exports. Gems, precious metals, accounts for $395.8 million which is 1.7%. Salt, sulfur, stone, cement, $47.9 million valued at 0.2%. Fish, $30.2 million which account for 0.1%. Machinery including computers, $26.7 million which accounts for 0.1%. Wood, $18 million which is 0.1%. Copper, $17.5 million which is 0.1%. Food industry waste, animal fodder, $14.2 million which is 0.1%. Aluminum, $13.6 million which is 0.06%. Iron, steel, $10.7 million which is 0.05%. Angola's top 10 exports accounted for 99.7% of the overall value of its global shipments. Copper was the fastest grower among the top 10 export categories, 
up by 7,726% 7, from 2019 to 2020. In second place for improving export sales was exported aluminum via a 3,261% gain. Angola's shipments of salt, sulfur, stone and cement posted the only other gain in value up by 156.7%. The leading decliner among Angola's top 10 export categories was machinery including computers, thanks to a minus 77.2% drop year over year. 89.4% of the African country's total. In second place was petroleum gases with 6.5% trailed by unset diamonds with 1.7%, processed petroleum oils with 1.3%, monument or building stones including granite with 0.2%, crustaceans including lobsters with 0.1%, bran or other residues with 0.1% and sawn would also 0.1%. In macroeconomic terms, Angola's total exported goods represent 10.3% of its overall gross domestic product for 2020 which is $219.8 billion valued in purchasing power parity. That 10.3% for exports to overall GDP and PPP for 2020 compares to 17.4% for 2019. Those percentages suggest a relatively decreasing reliance on products sold on international markets for Angola's total economic performance, albeit based on a short time frame. Another key indicator of a country's economic performance is its unemployment rate. Angola's unemployment rate was 30.5% at March 2021, down from a 31.8% jobless rate in January 2020 according to Trading Economics. Angola has an estimated population of 32.5 million comprising mostly of younger population who are less than 25 years which makes up about 66.5% of the population, those in the age bracket of 25 to 64 years makes up of about 31.2% of the population and above 65 years age group makes up of about 2.3% of the population. Average population density is estimated at 20.1 inhabitants kilometer square. In terms of human development indicators, it has a life expectancy of 63.4 years for women and 59.3 years for men. It has an overall literacy level of 71%. Angola is located in southern Africa. It shares borders with Zambia on the east, the Democratic Republic of the Congo on the north, Namibia on the south and bordered by the South Atlantic Ocean on the west. It gained independence from Portugal on November 11, 1975. Its capital is Luanda with 18 provinces. It is a multi-party republic with a president as head of state and the government. It runs a unicameral national assembly which serves as the legislative arm of the government. Angola has three main ethnic groups, each speaking a Bantu language, but Portuguese is the official and predominant language. Christianity is the major religion. It has a civil legal system based on Portuguese civil law. It has an area size of 1.25 million square kilometer. The country's geographical position provides investors with access to the regional market of 16 countries with an estimated 200 million population and GDP of $600 billion. Having emerged from 27 years of civil war in 2002, ground travel in some parts of Angola can be problematic. The country's northern province of Cabinda also poses security risk. Angolan authorities have made significant progress on macroeconomic stability and structural reforms. Angola has delivered on some of its key reforms including preventing and combating money laundering, privatization program, banking sector recapitalization, monetary, and exchange rate reforms, subsidy reform, and public financial management reforms. As the country seek to diversify its economy from oil and gas, a potential sector with opportunities includes agriculture, beverages, electricity, real estate, manufacturing industry, mining, tourism, renewable energy, transport, insurance, etc. Thanks for watching this video. We are open to suggestions. Kindly drop your comments in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to the Big Man Business YouTube channel. See you in the next video.